Hello, everyone. Today, I would like to briefly introduce the software that I have developed to assist road tunnel ventilation system design. As we all know, when a vehicle running in the tunnel, it emits pollution to the air in the tunnel, like CO and particles. So, it is crucial for designer to consider this issue and make the tunnel clear and safe for occupants. Another important concern is fire accident which occasionally happens in road tunnels across the world. So, the tunnel designer should have technical countermeasure to minimize the threat from fire disaster. How to solve these two issues? The answer is a powerful ventilation system which matches the traffic condition and geometric condition of the given tunnel. So, 10 years ago, I started to develop the software. Now, it has about 30 clients in China and it has helped engineers design more than 100 long tunnels. So, I made this video to introduce this software to give peers an insight and I hope it will contribute to international tunnel projects. Anyway, you can see the software is Chinese version now. We are developing an English version for international peers. This is the main interface which looks very simple to operate. On the left it is a navigation tree. In most cases, you can conduct a case in four steps. Inputting basic information, calculating air demand, analyzing normal operation ventilation, simulating emergency ventilation. The software also provides some useful tools, like outputting ventilation system diagram, axial fan parameters design, sectional pressure balance analysis, jet fan pressure rise calculation, as well as viewing analysis report. Well, let us see the first step and its interface. Actually, the first step composes two tabs. The first tab is mainly for traffic analysis. As for traffic information, usually you can find them in the Project Feasibility Study Report. In the first table, you can define road class, design speed, traffic mode, in other words, one-way or two-way or unidirectional or bidirectional. Then in the second table, you can input traffic volume corresponding to different years in the future. In the third table, you can define other traffic analysis related parameters like one direction traffic volume ratio, hourly traffic volume ratio. You can also define whether each year has a different traffic composition. The fourth table is to calculate equivalent impedance area of the vehicle which is calculated according to projection area of car and truck and their proportion. In the fifth table, you can define the proportion value conversion ratio and diesel engine proportion for each type of vehicle. In Chinese design code, it has seven types of vehicle. The highlight of this module is that you can also adopt Green Shield traffic model to do traffic analysis. Then, we come to the second tab. Here you can input any number of gradient value, cross-section area, and perimeter value for each tube. Then the equivalent hydraulic diameter value of each section can be calculated automatically. You can also check these geometric values by click these two buttons to have a look at the longitudinal view of each tube. The second step is to calculate air demand. Firstly, you should set some parameters in this tab. In the first table, you can set elevation value, environment pressure, air mass, background CO and by concentration, reference emission value, discounting rate and its reference here. Then in the second table, you can set the target or design concentration value for CO and by in different operation conditions. For example, different ventilation modes including longitudinal and transverse ventilation mode, lighting modes including LED or HPS, traffic modes including unidirectional, bidirectional and congestion. Then, in the third table, you can proceed to define where the congestion will occur. Lastly, you can define how often the tunnel should exchange its air. Several design guidelines are supported, including the latest PR 2019 report. Then, after all the necessary data are input, you can get the air demand results for any tube any future year, and any section which features different gradient, cross-section. In the right table,
You can check all the results, including basic commission value, concentration value, aerodynamic value of selected section and the whole tunnel. The highlight of this module is piston effect airflow result calculated by the software. It is the base to judge whether natural ventilation can completely meet normal operation. Moreover, you can define two sections arbitrarily and get the air demand result respectively. Click this button, the software can output an air demand calculation report in a few seconds. You can check the report in Microsoft Office Word. go to the third step to analyze normal operation ventilation. Firstly, select the tube, a future year, a traffic condition you are going to analyze. Here you can also define friction coefficient along the tube, resistance coefficient at entrance and exit portals, as well as local resistance coefficient along the tube. Secondly, you can link a jet fan database, which you can get from jet fan manufacturing the software. The jet fan types listed in the table are ready to be selected in later analysis. Then, you may start to do normal operation ventilation analysis. Almost all currently and commonly used ventilation modes can be taken into analysis and comparison, like longitudinal ventilation mode, semi or totally transverse mode, centralized discharge mode, electrostatic precipitator mode as well as complementary ventilation mode. Because of time limitation, in this video I can only introduce the first and the most popular mode, longitudinal ventilation mode. This is the interface for longitudinal ventilation mode. In the first table, you can add, delete and modify ventilation scheme name. In the second table, firstly, you can set the number of ventilation shafts or inclined shafts. Then you can input design parameters related to air exhauster and air blowing in for each shaft, like the mileage value of air blowing in outlet, air exhaust outlet, power and number of axial fan, and so on. Then, click this button, the whole tube will be divided into several sections by shafts, and you can see the calculation result for each section in the right table, including starting and ending mileage, air demand. Design an actual air volume, fresh air volume, concentration values and other results related to pressure balance. Finally and most importantly, you can see the jet fan number that is needed to balance each ventilation section. Because of time limitation, I will continue to introduce other cases that use other ventilation modes and emergency ventilation analysis in next videos. Let us jump to the ventilation system diagram drawing function. Firstly, in this interface, you need to input the mileages of bypasses or connection channels, emergency stopping bays, and jet fans mounted in both tube. Select one longitudinal ventilation scheme, then click this button, the ventilation system diagram will output in DWG format. Here is the example. These are all for today's video. Thank you for your attention. If you are interested in my software, or if you have any suggestion, leave your comments. See you next time.